Hello friends, this is the class on transcription. Uh, in my previous videos, I have already discussed about the replication and now in this video, I will uh, take an introductory class on uh, this uh, transcription. So, in case of DNA, uh, what we did is, okay, let me take a pen. And in case of DNA, when uh, DNA is producing another DNA, it is called the replication. And when the DNA is producing RNA, that is, this process is called the transcription. And this RNA can be of three type, as we know, that is mRNA and rRNA and tRNA and uh, the same RNA actually this encodes for protein it got it, it this mRNA strand has the sense for specific amino, amino acid sequence so it helps uh, it encodes the protein uh, that means it encodes the specific sequence of the amino acid in the polypeptide chain and the rRNA is associated with the ribosome and we I guess we know that this ribosome uh, get associated with the mRNA and helps in translation of the protein and this tRNA helps in binding with the amino acid and uh, it actually helps to bring the amino acids together to form the polypeptide chain so it gets uh, associated uh, with with the amino acids okay so this three types of uh, rnas uh, we know and there are several types of other rnas are there we are not discussing all these things here because it is unnecessary in case of this transcription now let's uh, start with all this uh, detailed mechanism of the transcription and everything so now the thing is that in eukaryotes uh, a transcription unit usually carry one gene information that means uh, if if this is my uh, if this is my DNA strand and if this portion is the gene that I want to transcribe if this is my AG the AG okay and this is my promoter and this is my promoter somewhere here this is the promoter p and uh, when uh, one uh, uh, gene is getting transcribed under the single promoter then uh, this kind of uh, transcription uh, and this kind of uh, unit in the transcription is called the monocystronic uh, transcriptional unit and that is usually uh, found in case of eukaryotes but in case of prokaryotes under the same promoter suppose this is a gene and if uh, let me elongate this section and this is b uh, this is another something different and this is c uh, so there are several other genes can be transcribed at a single shot under this uh, same promoter so in this case this kind of uh, transcriptional unit is called the polycystronic transcription unit and uh, this is very much frequent in case of prokaryotes so um, when we will uh, learn about the operon system then uh, we will discuss about all these things but till so far uh, we will be totally focusing our uh, video on the transcription mechanism now this transcription has got a specific start site and uh, suppose this is the plus one plus one means uh, this is the start point and uh, this is called the downstream region and this is called the upstream region we will uh, indicate this downstream with plus and the upstream with the minus so it has got a specific uh, start side and at the end there is uh, at the end of this uh, gene where the my, uh, my uh, transcription has to be stopped so there is the terminator sequence and in this upstream uh, region we get the promoter and upstream regulatory region and uh, we will discuss everything uh, subsequently now 
what is happening suppose if this is my dna strand that is 5 prime uh, to 3 prime and then 3 prime to 5 prime and here also the transcription uh, has a specific direction this transcription mechanism takes place from 5 prime to 3 prime so now uh, if my RNA has to be synthesized, uh, so it will start from here to that side, and this is my 5 prime end, and this is my 3 prime end. And this RNA transcription needs one DNA template. So now this RNA and this DNA is complementary to each other. So when the RNA is getting transcribed, it actually taking the sense of this strand it is not copying this strand but it is anti uh, this is complementary to, to to suppose this is my a strand and this is my b strand my rna is not taking the sense of the b strand it is actually uh, taking it as a template and synthesizing an anti sense strand of this b so it is carrying the uh, sense of this a strand so in this case my sense strand is a so my sense strand sense strand is a and my anti sense strand anti anti sense okay anti sense this is nothing it this is my anti sense strand uh, which is B so uh, I'm copying my mRNA is carrying the sense of the strand A and my mRNA is taking as a template uh, this strand B so sometimes students get confused with this anti sense and a uh, sense strand now next thing is that uh, this RNA polymerase uh, for this three mRNA, uh, tRNA and RNA for this three typical RNAs in case of this prokaryotes only single RNA polymerase is responsible but whereas in case of uh, eukaryotes there are three different polymerase pol 1, 2 and 3 and we will discuss everything later uh, so now for this uh, RNA polymerase uh, there are subunits, uh, there are subunits that is alpha, omega, beta and beta prime and this is sigma. Now uh, all these uh, subunits has got specific functions to play. Now this uh, sigma factor, this one is, uh, is, is important in identifying the specific promoter sequence if this is my DNA and this is my promoter sequence promoter means uh, it's a specific sequence where the RNA polymerase binds and under which a specific region is there somewhere here which is getting transcribed so this is my uh, sequence which I want to transcribe suppose I name it as A and this is my promoter sequence so first the RNA polymerase identifies the specific promoter with this sigma factor and then it uh, rolls over to the start site of my transcription region and then the rest of this uh, portion which is actually the core enzyme which catalyzes all this transcription mechanism uh, they start doing this transcription but this portion this portion has no role to play in identifying the promoter sequence rather this sigma has the sole uh, you know contribution in uh, identifying the promoter sequence so but it doesn't play a role in the transcription so what happens is uh, we have to identify what which which uh, subunit plays which role now in case of this alpha this is actually uh, it has function of assembling assembling the whole structure assembling the uh, enzyme and the promoter uh, recognition uh, this this uh, recognition factor together that means it helps in, in in assembling the whole structure of this protein and this beta and uh, beta prime they has got a catalytic 
catalytic function to uh, play. That means they are uh, solely responsible for the uh, transcription mechanism. Uh, and this omega, this omega actually stabilizes the RNA pole, um, assembly of the RNA pole, and stabilizes the assembly of the RNA pole. That means it has got a similar function like the alpha. That means assembling and stabilizing the structure is um, all that uh, it does. And this uh, sigma, this is actually the um, promoter uh, recognition. Um, uh, promoter recognition is is its sole function. Sorry for this handwriting. Um, I'm using a new tool, so for that reason, uh, probably my handwriting is not well here. So uh, the thing is that there are five subunits we had talked about alpha is that for assembly and beta beta prime for catalysis of the transcription omega has got a similar function with the alpha and the sigma factor is solely responsible for the promoter uh, recognition and this whole thing together these four things together forms the holo enzyme holo enzyme sorry this this five things these five things together this alpha omega omega uh, omega uh, this beta beta prime all and, and the and the sigma as well all this together forms the holo enzyme and when uh, this uh, sigma factor has been taken out only this portion this portion let me take a new color so that I can be able to make you understand this portion uh, this sole portion is called the core enzyme core enzyme this is responsible for catalysis and the assembly of the uh, RNA polymerase so now there are certain terms that we should be uh, familiar with uh, one is uh, this abortive initiation abortive initiation uh, sorry for this handwriting this is horrible I know uh, this is abortive abortive initiation now what is what happens over here is actually when uh, the transcription starts and after a few RNA uh, I, I mean, uh, after a few ra uh, ra nucleotide sugar uh, addition, the RNA pole gets dissociated from the DNA, and this uh, mechanism is called the uh, abortive initiation. As the RNA is n RNA polymerase is not being able to uh, continue with this transcription, uh, let me show you in this figure that okay, suppose this is the DNA this is the hydrogen bonds and here where my transcription will start the DNA double helix gets melted and so here this small RNA starts to get synthesized its own thing and when suppose two or three nucleotide has been added this is my antisense strand and this is my sense strand when two or three nucleotide has been as added and uh, suppose if I'm taking this um, RNA polymerase enzyme it gets dissociated it falls off from the DNA uh, strand then only you know a small fragment of uh, RNA is there which is two to three base pair long so uh, in this case this is called an abortive initiation and when it manages to uh, Along it, the RNA at uh, 10 base pair long, so then it is a successful initiation. So, I will talk about all these things in my later video, so stay tuned. Thank you.